Howdy YouTube, welcome to another product overview with Performance PCs. I'm Matt, and today we're checking out Singularity Computer's brand new Proteum 2.0. Now if you didn't know, they had a 1.0 as well. We still sell it, it's been one of my favorite pump res combos for quite a number of years now. Go check out that product overview too if you're interested. Today though, we're going to check out the brand new version. This thing got an overhaul, and honestly, I didn't think this pump res combo could get any better. However, Singularity Computers, of course, delivered as always. So, I plan on taking you guys along today to check out why and how this pump res combo is going to be one of my new favorites as well. First things first, you'll notice that this new version has the D5 pump situated horizontally instead of, you know, the traditional where it'd be straight down from the tube. Now once you've gotten it out of your packaging, you'll find that it comes with a few different sets of goodies. We've got our mount here where you can mount it to a 120 rad or a 140, you know, fan or rad, whatever it might be. Really useful for getting it exactly where it needs to go. Now, these two and these two units here are your RGB or DRGB rings. So you have one that will go underneath the reservoir tube or somewhere in that area. You'll also find one for the bottom of your pump cover as well. So let's install the reservoir RGB ring first. In order to do that, you gotta unscrew the reservoir tube. Now you're just gonna remove this little black ring on top. It just pops off like so. Now take note of where the space is in the back. Because you're going to take your RGB ring there and feed the wire through the gap, like so. Now you can reinstall it on your pump top. So this is able to rotate around. So if you don't want the cord coming out this way, obviously you can rotate around to whichever way you'd like. Now we can reinstall our reservoir tube. And voila. Now let's move on to installing our D5 pump as well as the last RGB ring in the pump cover. First off, you're going to take out your other accessory bag and you're going to need this O-ring inside of it here. So now to install the O-ring, you can either put it in the groove in the pump top or I personally prefer to put it around the D5 before I install it. This just ensures that it is actually around the D5. It may fight you a little bit, so massage it on gently. Once you get it on your pump, place the pump in the pump top. Now you're gonna wanna take the little foam pad in here. You're gonna remove the adhesive cover. You're gonna place this on the back of your D5, avoiding the wires, wherever they may be. Next, you're gonna take your pump cover and you can actually unscrew the back half of it, which will leave you with just this ring. So you're going to take this ring, feed your wires through it, ensure that your pump's seated properly, and then go ahead and tighten this ring down. Do it carefully, you don't want to strip this out. Make sure this is nice and snug though. This is what's actually keeping your pump sealed against the pump top. Next, you can take your DRGB plate here for the back of your pump cover. I like to line up the cable with the other cables, just to make things easy. Place it on there, take the back half of your ring, 
feed all of these cables through it. And then you can carefully slide the rest of the pump cover over your pump. This will now screw back in. And there you've assembled your Proteum 2.0 with all of the DRGB included. Now your pump press is assembled, you probably want to figure out how you're going to mount this bad boy into your build. So you got a few options now with the 2.0. It comes with this nice handy dandy bracket here that you can bolt on in multiple locations. So you've got two holes here on the side of the pump top, on both sides actually. You've got a line of four here and keep in mind that you can actually, you know, move this along different holes to get a different offset. And then you also have two holes on the bottom. So to mount this onto the top, you just take the two included countersunk screws, line it up with the holes that you want to use, and carefully screw it in. Now this bracket allows you to mount this directly to 120 mil fans, 140 mil fans, or fan rad combo, whatever it may be. It also comes with a couple of standoffs, which will actually thread into those same exact holes that the other bracket threads into. So you could use these if you wanted to use some through holes in your case and then bolt it directly to the case using the standoffs. Now you might be looking this, at this and see all these ports along it and you may be wondering what happens if you flush mount this up against the panel, say the bottom there, and you want to block off the port. Well, Singularity was kind enough to include some flush mount G and a quarter plugs. So if your panel is going to be, or if there's going to be an obstruction close to the pump top, I'd suggest using these plugs. You have to use an Allen key to install them. Make sure they're snug. And now you've got the port blocked and the face is still flush. So now moving on to the port layout of this beautiful unit. There are seven ports total, three outlets, which is actually unheard of for pump tops. I haven't seen any pump tops with three outlets. You guys can let me know if you have. And four inlets. So I'll have a diagram pointing out which ones are which on here, popping up on screen now. But you'll notice two of the inlets are up on the top and it does come with the tube. So if you were to use the other one, you would have to swap the tube over or you would at least want to that tube will help keep uh, bubbles from recirculating into your loop as long as you keep your fluid level above the tube. Alright folks, so there we have it. That is the Proteum 2.0 from Singularity Computers. It really is quite a unique piece of water cooling hardware here. You have so many options between mounting, the port layout, and as well as the DRGB lighting now. There's no way I can cover every way you could use this pump res combo in your build in this video. So if you guys have any questions about how you would maybe use it, please post them below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you guys are using one of these, let me know too. I want to see what you guys are coming up with. Otherwise, please head over to Singularity's YouTube channel. Check out their overview on the pump res. Daniel did a great one on it as well. Please show them some love. They were kind enough to send these over for us to check out, and we can't thank them enough. Of course, as always, you can find these beautiful pump res combos at PPCs. I'll have it linked right down below. So get yourself one, start using it in your build today, and really see what it's all about. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see some more and you haven't already, please subscribe. It really helps us out. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next one. And until then, happy water cooling.